The early MANIFS glaucoma trial it was carried out in Sweden. It was carried out in Sweden. The goals to see the effect of immediate treatment on glaucoma progression as compared to no treatment or late treatment and also to determine the factors related to glaucoma progression. So this was done on 360 eyes, age between 50 to 80, cases with primary open angle glaucoma, normal tension glaucoma, pseudo exfoliation. The mean IOP was less than 30 millimeters mercury. Several readings were taken and not a single reading should be higher than 35 millimeters of mercury. No previous treatment. Exclusion criteria included advanced field changes and if the visual acuity is worse than 2040 or any lens opacity that may disturb testing visual field or disc photography. Patients were divided into observation group and treatment group. Treatment group included laser for 360 degrees and bitoptic. This study is the first and most probably the only large controlled clinical trial to include an arm with untreated glaucoma patients. So patients were divided into two groups and follow up for a period of six years. The treatment group, the goal was to lower the IOP by 25%. For the untreated group, any patient that will show progression is immediately put into treatment. So there was a very close follow-up for the field every three months. For any change in the field or desk photography, every three months. Regarding the progression, there was progression in both limbs of the study and which is increased with time. At 72 months, 62% of the observation group shows progression and 45% of the treated group show progression. So it means treatment prevents the occurrence, the progression in 17%. So the number to be treated is six. The risk for progression is double in the non-treated group compared to the treated group. So patients on therapy have half the probability of de developing glaucoma damage compared to the non-treated group. It was found that progression was closely linked to the initial reduction in the IOP. A reduction per one millimeter means less 10% probability of glaucoma damage. So for every one millimeter reduction means pr protection 10% as a probability of glaucoma damage progression. As you can see, in the untreated group, there is a good percentage of patients that did not show any progression even after several treatment, after several years without any treatment. So patients with low risk of progression could be left untreated and could be followed up closely as long as they are stable. On the other hand, on the treated group, still 45% showed progression. So even progression may occur after reduction of 25% of the IOP. Regarding cataract, the treated arm show lens opacity compared to the non-treated arm. Now, 
from these figures you can see that IOP reduction in the early stages of glaucoma can delay the progression or even can prevent the progression so IOP reduction delays or prevent progression and the IOP level is critical factor in glaucoma progression so it's better to individualize treatment as necessary what are the factors related to glaucoma progression the initial IOP if it was high the baseline IOP if it was high then the risk for, for progression is high and if it was low the risk of progression is low exfoliation cases with exfoliation showed high progression probability compared to the eyes without exfoliation bilateral cases bilateral glaucoma the risk of progression is high compared to unilateral glaucoma the field changes the mean deviation if it's higher than four decibel then the, uh, the chance of progression is higher compared to the cases where the mean deviation was below 4 decibel. Again, the age. The old age, the group higher than 68 years, they get higher risk progression compared to the younger age group. So, We have to keep in mind that the results are not applicable to patients with very high IOP or with cases with advanced glaucoma. Not all glaucoma patients should receive maximum treatment. If you have the high risk factors, then you go for maximum treatment. And keep in mind, some patients do not show any disease progression for years.